guys welcome to my channel Vinyl Beauty and to today's video I'm Debbie and if we've not met before this channel is all about getting creative with makeup whatever your age now today's video is going to be a super creative one because we're going to be doing an album art inspired eye look now many moons ago I did do an album art inspired video so I will link that in the cards for you I'd intended to make a series out of that and never did and I want to bring that back and really what I'm trying to concentrate on doing with my channel now is getting away from reviewing all the new makeup, using what I have, but doing something a bit different with it, you know, just really enjoying the makeup itself and the creativity of it. So I thought this could be a fun way to kick that off. So the album that I've chosen to, to use as my inspiration today is Barbara Streisand's Release Me Too, this one here. A, because we've got this beautiful purple colour going on in the album artwork, but also I want to have a go at recreating her iconic shape that she always has with her eye makeup, particularly from the 60s, where she would define her crease and then like a, an extended cat eye shape, very much like the makeup that she wore in Funny Girl. So that's what we're going to attempt to do today. I'm not wearing the makeup yet. I thought we could do this together. It's certainly not going to be a makeup tutorial as such. It's going to be me having a go, see if I can pull this off. Just thought it might be a bit of fun. So I'm going to scoot you in and we'll get started. So for this makeup then, I needed a purple. Now traditionally, Barbara would have done her makeup quite neutral, I think. Most of the time it was just a defined crease and quite smoky on the outer corner. And she didn't used to wear black liner in her waterline because she's got quite small eyes. So it would be maybe white or flesh colored liner in the waterline and then a bit of black smudged on the edge here. But I wanted to bring some color into it. And as I say, from the movie Funny Girl, there's a scene where she meets with Oma Sharif's character, Nikki Armstein, and it's the scene where they're singing, you are woman, I am man. And if you've seen the film, you'll know there's a beautiful purple dress in that. And I think there's a bit of purple hint in the eye makeup. So I needed a black for this look and I needed a purple. So I think I've found the perfect purple, but honestly, it doesn't matter what, what makeup you're using for this. It's not about the palette as such. But I'm going to use, I think, this one here, light and airy, and mix it with this. Because if you see them together, I think you'll agree, they kind of have the same tones to them. So that's going to go on my lid. And then I needed a good black. My favourite black is from the Creepy Cute palette from Shroud. And it's the shade Void here, because it is super, super black. I've already primed my lids and I've used the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm going to set it a little bit because black always scares me. I don't want the black to go super intense too quickly so I'm going to set just with a little bit of MAC uh, Mineralized Powder. I don't often set my eyeshadow primer but I think I might just make it easier because I'm going to be doing an all matte look here. All right, I've just brought you in a bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to start with the black. I think we need to go quite sparingly with that, so I'm going to go with a really teeny tiny brush to start. And with black, you can always add more. You can't really take it away, so I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to keep my eye open and sketch the shape. Now, she used to bring it all the way down. But I want it slightly above my natural crease line so that my eyes are as big as I can make them whilst still maintaining this shape. But this is the tricky bit for me is getting this shape down. Now if you guys follow me on Instagram you will know how much I adore Barbara and I've been collecting all the vinyl. I'll pop a picture up actually so you can see how much I've managed to collect recently. But since buying this album it's really Got me back into listening to her music again in a big way. Like I had four or five albums already since seeing her in Hyde Park at the British Summertime Festival where I was working and she just happened to be playing and I wasn't like a massive fan before that point. Obviously I knew who she was and 
you know, the, the popular songs like Evergreen and The Way We Were, but hearing her live, like her voice just carried over that park. I was there when she was doing the sound check and it just took my breath away. And so I became a fan then, but since buying this album, I decided I wanted to get some more of her older albums on vinyl. I want to collect them all really, there's about 50 of them though, so it's going to take some time. Right, I just want to bring the shape, I think her shape just sort of came down like that. This is what's going to be the tricky bit, I'm not going too crazy with the shape. I'm going to bring it out to about that and then connect it. I think that's kind of the shape we want. As I say, I'm doing it very, very sparingly to start with. We can always have more black. But I don't want to end up with too much fallout, but I think that's kind of the shape. I might have gone a little bit too high. Just need to replicate that on the other eye now. <laughs> that's always the fun bit for me. But yeah, I've been watching lots of uh, old interviews. Barbara doesn't do many interviews, but there's quite a, a number of them now on YouTube. She's often misquoted and misunderstood, so she doesn't like to, to do too many interviews. But in more recent years, she's done more. But in her concert, the Magic and Memories concert, the most recent one before the Hyde Park one. There's a snippet in that. It's on uh, Netflix at the moment, actually, if you're a fan and you want to catch it. But she shows the process of her doing her makeup, and it's nothing like this. She just defines her crease, basically, nowadays. But she's always done her own makeup, and she talks about that in one of the interviews of what she uh, always wanted to do her own makeup, and was told, you know, that they wanted a makeup artist to do. So she said, okay, you do the makeup and do whatever you want on me and then I'll do mine and we'll see what works out best. And this was a film for one of her films, I don't know which one. And of course, she knew her own face and how to do her makeup and hers was better and she's done her own ever since. Which is rare, I think, for a movie star. Oh, I'm not sure we've got them even, but that's the best I can do. As I say, this is not a tutorial, this is just me trying to recreate this because I just really wanted to have a go. And I thought you guys might find it interesting to see. This album released me to is tracks that she'd recorded and they never for whatever reason made it onto albums that they were intended for. She didn't like the arrangement on them or didn't have time to lay down like the vocal exactly how she wanted it or whatever reason so just bringing that a little bit higher so it can be seen just trying to get this even I think we're getting that so this is a chance to to release them to the world and people to get to hear them and it's the second time she's done this eight or nine years ago there was a original release me album. Right, I think we've got the shape down. It is a little bit blacker than I want it to be, but I think when it's blended out, it'll be fine. That might do a little bit of blending now, just with a soft, fluffy brush. Because I want this to kind of be smoky. It's an unusual look for me to do, because I normally take my makeup way higher, like towards my brow, and it's keeping it controlled in the socket area and not going to crazy. I think it's looking better now, I'm just blending that out. But I wanted to sketch the line first and just kind of figure out where I wanted it to go. If you're familiar with my channel at all, you'll know I love either red lips or dark and vampy and dramatic lips and they weren't the lips of the 60s and they're definitely not the lips that Barbara does so I'm going to do a nude lip today. So we need quite a dramatic eye I think me to feel comfortable with it. It's my interpretation. I think we're getting somewhat what I want now. So now I just need to fill in kind of the, the wing shape but I want to go kind of on an angle here. So across my lid and then out. It's 
we're sort of filling this tail bit in completely but on an angle this might be one where because of the age of my eyes I need to pull my lid down to be able to get into those folds this is a good black because it doesn't really have too much fallout I am being super super careful though never really done this kind of makeup look on myself so it'll be interesting to see whether it suits me and how it turns out don't all that often do an all matte look so could be fun even my highlight I've done is matte today and I really quite like how it's looking just used a white powder just at this corner bit here I'm just flicking it just slightly just to extend it a little bit, I'm just trying to get the symmetry the same. Trouble is, I don't think my eyes are the same. <laughs> Maybe nobody's are. So I've not been around on my channel for three weeks, I think. I just haven't been that inspired to, to film anything. And when you're not reviewing all the the latest releases it's difficult to know what to film that people might want to see and then I just thought I really want to film this anyway just just to see if I can do it so if it doesn't get too many views that's okay but I just thought it could be a bit of fun for me to do and that's really what my channel is all about is just a hobby for me just something fun for me to do so be very careful here because I've taken that out a bit but I like how it's looking that side of this one's gone a little bit too far. Now I'm going to fill in the part that we've got left with the purpley shade. So I'm going to mix Sugar Plum and Light and Airy together. I think that will give us the perfect shade to match the album cover. Again I'm going to use a very small brush, just a packing brush. Yeah, I think I need a bit more Sugar Plum, the more bluey one. Yeah, perfect. So it's definitely going to be a case of dipping back in and out of those two colours to kind of get the, the shade that I want. On the eye, the Sugar Plum shade is more the colour of the album. And yet when I put them close together, like when I held up the album to that shade, I would have said the Light and Airy was, was the one. The album comes in a number of different colours, which are... Barbara's favourite colours and she picked them all from like Pantone samples so there's a Spotify version which is nigh and impossible to get hold of that's like a blue grey there's a Barnes and Noble edition that's green that one's pretty oh there's a Target edition but obviously I'm in the UK we don't have Target but that's got an extra track on it and that one's pink that would have been the one I would have had and the one that I've got is the Amazon edition. And then there was a red just with normal black vinyl. This vinyl is, is purple. Right, I like how that's looking. Just gonna repeat that on the other eye. But I love collecting my vinyl and I don't know if you guys would be interested in a vinyl collection video. I've got a very eclectic taste in music. Everything from classical to heavy metal to 80s pop. <laughs> everything in between really. I've got about a hundred albums now on vinyl. I used to obviously buy vinyl in the 80s, that was the medium you bought, bought music on and then got rid of them all for in favour of CDs and now I never play my CDs and I only ever play my vinyl so I've bought a really nice turntable and just really got them back into it. Just going to intensify the black in the outer corner a bit more now. You can't rush these cat eye kind of shapes. Okay, now I'm going to go on to the lower lash line using this black and the same brush. The brush, by the way, is the Morphe M213. I've chosen this because it's sort of a little bit fluffy and I can use it both on the upper and lower lash line, but I can keep the control. So I want to connect up in the corner but I don't want to go all the way to the the front of my lower lash line I don't want too much of this black really there I feel like this is an exercise in being quite minimal and not going crazy I normally take my 
lower lash line quite low down and quite blown out so this look doesn't call for that I'm really liking this shape on myself actually as we get more towards the front part I'm going to change to grey so I'm going to use tombstone which is another reason why this palette was a good choice I'm not bringing it all the way to the corner so I'm just stopping short of doing that. Now just in these inner corners here I need a white so I'm just going to use the white out of my contour palette here. Another really small teeny tiny brush. Just bring a little bit of white in. This is that little 60s feel I think. I'm going to put white in my waterline really open my eyes. This is White Core by LH Cosmetics or was Linda Halberg. Okay, next up we need some dark gel liner on this upper lash line. So I'm going to use the Inglot gel liner and a very tiny precise brush. This is the Sigma E06. I need a very steady hand. So to do this I'm putting my elbow on the table. I'm going to pull my lid down. And we want this liner all the way into the corner. There we go. Okay, so that's the eye look to this point. Just going to hold off camera for some mascara and a lip. And I'll be back with you with the finished look. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. How did I do? Did I capture that? kind of cat eye and the essence of what I was looking for I think I did I think I've gone in a little bit more smoky and dramatic it's a, a nighttime look rather than a daytime I think it's a little bit too strong in the crease to be truly the kind of 60s look that Barbara would have worn in Funny Girl but it gave me the inspiration to to have a go and sort of do a different eye shape to to what I'm used to so it's a lot of fun to do and I think I've captured the essence of it like I just needed a little bit more or less sorry in the crease and a bit more sort of coming out this way sort of straighter I think I've gone up a little bit too much but either way I think kind of captured it and definitely captured the colour the lavender purple from the album as well on my lid so it's a lot of fun to do it's nice to have something to sort of work from to give you that inspiration which is why doing an album art inspired series is so interesting to me. I'd love to be able to combine my passion for my vinyl and my makeup together and do something that's, as I said in the intro, nothing to do with reviewing new makeup or pushing codes or talking about anything, you know, to do with buying makeup. I just want to get creative with it. So if you're with me on that journey, I'd love it if you might consider subscribing before you go. But thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you're keeping safe and well. Hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.